Um, hi, um, I want to show you today how to um, how to split a hive. We're going to start off um, uh, with a hive with a lot of bees, and we're going to split it and uh, make two hives out of one. So this fall we'll have two instead of the one. Now, if you've seen the other videos, I told you how that my video, my nukes, my, this is a brood from This is where they lay their eggs and uh, excess honey and what and and, uh, and all this stuff. Now, if you get one, if you buy one of these and you you get a metal frame such as this, and it lays down on on the box like this, you don't have to use it if you're going to use a nine frame. This this makes a ten frame a nine frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <clears throat> now, if this comes with uh, a one that sticks up like this, sticks up, then you're going to have to nail this in before you put this, nail this in first, and then on this on top of it. All you do is simply put this in there, and you got one, two, three, four little, four little nails, and nails it in. You space it equally right here. This converts this to a nine, from a ten frame to a nine frame. Most beekeepers use a ten frame. I don't because it's much easier to use a to use that a ten frame, nine frame from a ten frame. Now I've already set up. Um, I got my block set in here and it's got it leveled up. It got left a square there, I guess. Now leveled up. Uh, Level the block. Block is level. This way, perfectly level. This way, I've got this pointed down about a half an inch or so. So, about a half an inch. So this must be down a little lower than this, so water can drain out. Now I'm just going to go here and I'm going to suit up because I'm going to dig deep in these hives and. They could be multiple bees. Uh, show you my nuke. If you've seen the, if you've seen the video I made before, I showed you how to make this nuke. And it's uh, as I say, up and down from the bottom to the top, ten and the four inches, ten and the four inches, from from here to here is ten. And the four inches. Actually, um, I, actually, I like to make mine about <coughs> ten and three quarters. Ten, but ten and four inches, I, I like making mine three, ten and three quarters, a little bit more. And this way is a twenty inches, but I like to make mine twenty and a half. Gives you a little bit more room in here because uh, the racks, these racks right here, are nineteen inches. From here to here is 19 inches. So if you got a, if you uh, saw out a, a half inch, it fits snug, which most people beekeepers likes. But I like mine to have a little play. I can move them real easy if I'm having a tug and go on. So I make mine. I'm still making mine 20. I make it 20 and a half, 20 and three quarters. It don't make any difference. Fine. Don't make it really. Don't make it 21 or 22 because you'll have too much room and the racks would fall down. <clears throat> so the process is finding the queen in the mother hive. We turn it around here and find the queen in the mother hive without making any any noise whatsoever. And you gotta do it slowly. Now removing it real slow very slow very slow what we don't want to do we don't want we don't want the bees to uh, we don't want the bees to get aggravated if you tap on it if you tap on this a little bit the, bees, the queen runs all over the hive I'm going to put a suit on so the bees is going to be a little bit agitated
bees are going to be a little bit aggressive, so I'm going to suit up. You don't want to make, for sure, you don't want to jar the, the hive in any means. The process is to find the queen in this hive right now. Now, today is uh, April Fool's Day, April the 1st, 2022. Now, I'm going to remove the, this is, a, this is a bee patty I had on here. I'm going to remove that. Just discard it just for a moment. Now, the logic is, the logic is finding the queen, finding the hive that she's on. If I just pick any, any one in here, uh, she may have not laid. So if I pick the hive that, if I pick the frame that she's actually on, most likely that's where she's laying at. So that's, that's the frame I want to keep out. I'm just going to go very slow and easy. I marked her in uh, February. February, there was only uh, about 15,000 bees in here or something like that. That's all. I'm going to put her in here. Just to, This is temporary. I'm hunting for the queen. Just temporary to find the queen. Well, you can feel the heat come out there, and it's uh, it's 62. It's 62 outside right now, and some brood, nice brood on there. I keep it going. I do it sort of fast, but I don't jar anything. I'm looking for a. Queen bee here. That's a drone. Saw that nice brood on there. All this nice brood. That's that's the eggs. Some of those eggs are ready to hatch out. They are hatching out right now. So we'll use some of those, but not right now. First, we got to find the queen. That's enough out till we find the queen. Find the queen. Gotta find her. Not a nice pattern. She's really growing. She's really, really laying good. These big fat cells right here are drones. Right here is a drone. It's a big old fat bee. He can't sting, can't carry nectar. All it can do is mate. I'm just gonna scoot these over and go over easily. You don't want to jar these. You don't want to jar them. You want to be very. As, as army as in the army, they would say, quick and easy. Quick and easy. Be very easy about it, but be quick about it. It's a little colder today than I, I wanted. It's. 60, 62 I believe it was. Here's a nice frame. She's got blowed out. She's beautiful. Now, if we can't find the queen, then we'll have to look again or either come back another day. We have to find her first. Right here she is. All right here she is. See, I got her marked. I got her marked right there. See that green bee? That's the queen. Right there she is. I'm going to catch her. I'm going to catch her. I don't want to harm her. And I got her in there. She, there she is. She's inside there. The queen bee. So now, the queen was on this one. So, odds are. Odds are, the queen is laying eggs in this hive right here. I'm laying the queen down right there. Now, 
and see this one had a lot of yeah this one's got a lot of brood on it and I'm gonna put this one back for right now put this one in the middle this is the frame this is the frame the queen was on right here that's her I lay the queen this is the frame she's on right there so now what I want to do is get a lot of young bees a lot of young bees look at this one this is look how that's shaped out really good so we're going to shake some bees off here and this one pick. remember this is the one that's got the queen on it so I'm just going to shake the bees in there Put it to frame where it was back, where it was at. And I'm gonna get this frame here. I'm gonna shake a lot of bees in there. It takes a lot of bees. So these bees have to make, these bees here have to make a new queen. See all that brood that they made? That'd be a good frame to leave in there, but already got it done, so it's already done. Remember, our old queen is in here. So, take some more. Gotta be a lot of bees in there. I got lots of bees in there. Let me see if this has got any brood on it. It's got some brood on it. A lot of bees on it. And I'll leave it back in here. This one here has got a lot of brood on it, so I'm going to put it in here. So that's one, two, three. That's one, two, three. I'm going to put... Come on, boys. Yes. we got three frames, three frames of, uh, of uh, young bees and brood in here. Now this is an old frame of sugar syrup this is a no frame of syrup right here so i'm going to put it i'm going to put it in uh, my nuke to give them something to eat on while they're making a new queen and i'm going to give them one more frame here looks like let's see i guess i don't want to cut them back too far Got uh, one, two, three, it's got four. Here's, here's a good one. Now our nuke is done. Our nuke is done. This is the nuke. Make sure the camera's angled good. My nuke right here is done, it's finished. I got some bee pollen right here. I'm gonna, they make their own pollen, but I'm gonna give them a little extra. What you do, you wanna scoot that on there, like so, and replace the top. Replace the top. Make sure it's on good and tight. I put me up, see me a block on top of there. To make it good and tight. Now, now we gotta put empty frames back in here. These are empty frames, so I'm gonna 
So the stagger. I'm gonna put one here and one here. Bring one over here and this is going to give the queen plenty extra room to lay eggs in. Plenty extra room to lay eggs in. Lots of extra room. Now, I'm going to release the queen back in here. You see, I'm going to watch her go back down in the hive. Go on, girl. Go on down in there. Go on down in there. You hear them. There you go. There she goes. There she goes. Now, I'll put this back up for the bees. The top back on it. Put it upside down because I got a patty on it. Put the top back on it. Cement block back on it. Now, this is a wonderful little thing, it's a catcher. Used to, used to, you had to go in there with your fingers and uh, catch it by the wings and hold her. <laughs> this is a wonderful little gadget, I don't know who invented it, but thank God that they did. <laughs> Praise the Lord for that. So, now, move the camera down a little bit. And, Now this is very important. Um, where I've got it ready for my nuke here is it's, it's at least 20 foot from the mother hive. This is 20 foot. Ah. Ah. See me at Brock. Put back on there. This block is to keep the weight on them. Keep the top down against the where my I've got the duct tape in there. Um, well I'll leave this on. I'm gonna go back in there and have what will happen is the field bees, the old bees, will come out of here and they'll go back in the field and when they return, they'll return to the mother hive, which is the one we just took these out of, took the queen out of. <clears throat> so this is only, only going to have young bees that's not, that don't fly yet. Young bees, or some of them, maybe a few field bees, but the field bees have already oriented, oriented themselves to the mother hive up there. So they're just going to come out here and go back and get their nectar, pollen, and come back. And they're going back in that hive, the first one we took it out of. Now this hive is 20 foot from that, 25 foot I guess it is. And um, so this, these bees won't wander back to that hive. Then the queen is in that hive. So the queen, the mother queen, the queen, is back in this hive. Um, the hive we took her out of, right there. The queen is the queen is back in that. Now, <clears throat> one more thing I got to show you. Remember, uh, this hive, uh, that, all those bees over in the other hive is sisters and brothers to hive in here. So they got the same model. This queen laid every egg in here. So when that virgin queen that I made over there at Nuke, when she comes out in 16 days, be about 20 days before she takes her mating flight, I don't want her brothers mating her. Because it's inbred. The bees, those inbred bees are no good. They're not productive at all. So I have hive reducers. Now, um, in about 
16 days. She can come out in 16 days, but she don't take her maiden flight for about three or four or five days later. So after about 17, 18 days, I'll come up here and I'll put I'll insert this in like that. Now the worker bees can get in and out of these screens very easy, but the queen or drums cannot go through these wires. It's too, they're too big. So I insert that like that. So now I know that the other hive over there, the drums, that's not no kin to this hive, is going to make my drums over there, which is going to make, it's like a, something like a, a think of as being a, a, stored, a stud horse. You want to get a good breed, a bee, same thing. And if you, if you had a whole bunch of hive, if you got a, a, a hive that's not producing good, not doing good, it's a weak hive, you don't want that hive mated with weak drums. So you would, I would put another one of these excluders on the weak hive because uh, I mean you know you don't want weak bees you want the strong bees to mate the queen so that's what this is for this is a queen excluder and then the purpose of it drums or queens can't get through this now I used to so this is a an extra little two thing I've had for I guess 40 years or something like that and this is a uh, Pretty handy little tool. You can put grab the racks real easy and put it in there. Now these these racks over here are all empty. I still got plenty of stuff to go. I'm still gonna this hive. I got a hive over here that I'll show it to you. I got a hive over here. I made uh, I made a uh, uh, another I nuked uh, I don't know, Wednesday. And I actually was making a YouTube out of it, and um, the wind, blew, I was talking away, and the wind came up, and my camera was, the camera, camera landed over there, over the hill, <laughs> over the hill, and I was just, I just went ahead and made the nuke, and it's over the, it's over a different bee yard, and uh, throw that in there for you. So anyway, that's what, that's the easy way to make a nuke. Remember the, the queen up, the all done. I got the, went in there really easy, and I got the queen out. I went very slow, got her out, and made sure that made sure that I didn't I jar the, the the hive any at all. You don't want any hive to um, you don't want any you don't want the queen moving around. If you jar that hive. Right, I just put the queen back in there, and she, she's going to start laying eggs. Uh, probably take her a few hours, and she'll start laying eggs again. And she'll lay one to two thousand eggs a day. <clears throat> so if you catch her on the hive, you sneak up on her, and you catch her. I don't use smoke. The smoker's not even. I don't even have a smoker out here. I don't use smoke. <clears throat> I just go in there and catch the bee, catch the queen, and. Put her up, get, get some racks out, with, get some racks, get your young bees are shook in the hive. So I got a lot of young bees, a lot of young, that hive, this, this nuke right here was really heavy for me to pack. I'm not the strongest guy in the world anyway, but this nuke is really heavy for me to pack, uh, to put up on that block. Now, everything goes good, they'll make them a new queen, they'll find out in minutes that they ain't got a queen. And now all they got to do is find lava that's less than 48 hours old and they'll make a brand new virgin queen and 16 days she's going to come out of that cocoon and lay around in there for a few days so she gets some strength. She, she'll take some maiden flights. She might fly up on a little bush behind her right there, a small bush or something. Uh, she'll, do, she'll take her flights until she gets um, confident that she can take a maiden flight and go way up in the air like... 250 foot and the drums will mate her <clears throat> but like I said I don't want oh my pine trees are blooming I didn't just notice that well um, I noticed in one moment ago actually so that's the uh, process now you could uh, you could <clears throat> make a nuke and take it put it in your truck or whatever and haul it to um, Haul it to a neighbor's uh, bee yard and let it get get it get her get her uh, made it there, which would be great.
So uh, I want to thank you for I want to thank you for watching the watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it, and good luck on making your nukes.